Alright guys, welcome back to more of the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Really can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support you dropped on the first part. It really means a lot to me. If you want this series quickly, just keep destroying that like button. And I will keep spamming you guys. So, alright guys, I love you, and let's get this. Alright, nice. I love how we just kind of are put right back where we saved it. It makes things pretty easy. So, I now have the shotgun... I got the Samurai Edge, which I'm going to just probably use this, get rid of all the ammo, and then since, even though I have this upgraded, I can think I can hold up to 20, yeah, 24 shots. I'm not going to worry about it, so. I've already obtained the other two, I just need the last medallion, and then I will be good to go. I'm just trying to conserve bullets as much as I can, and I feel like I'll kind of switch between the two. I know you can't really upgrade the other one, so... We're gonna head to this next area. This is all kind of uncharted waters. Now, the beginning of the game was very well done. I was really pleased with that. There will be things I missed as well. All right, let me go back in this room one more time. There was this over here. Let me, hold on, let's see what this is. We're gonna need some kind of crank with that, okay. Let's check this room one more time before we go. Yep, there was something there. The Redstone Art Article, Raccoon Magazine. Now these, I'm, I'm guessing this is talking about, yeah, the jewels and stuff, because this one's actually holding this one. It's like embedded in there. Uh, I think we put something in its arm. I can't really remember too much. My initial instinct, honestly, is to break these. After playing like Resident Evil 4 and 5 before I played this one just to kind of get familiar with the the way the game feels because Resident Evil 7 was a, a fantastic game but it's first person so it's like it's not really the same feel but every time I see these little like the door icon right there that's Resident Evil 7 that's what that reminds me of right, here we go oh Grab this. Inventory fills up quick, doesn't it? Hold on, let's check down here. That's insane. Now, the helicopter pilot was Brad Vickers in the original game. I don't think that's the same helicopter. Could be wrong. Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Claire! It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah, of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Okay, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin. Hey, cutting tool. Did you copy? Marvin. Damn it. Hope I can use this more than once, because there's a several spots where I needed to use this. Alright, let me see something. Yeah, okay, they can't get to me that can't get to them. Well that's just unsettling. all familiar. All right, back where we were. All 
Are you kidding? Oh, yeah! I don't know if they can attack me while I'm doing this kind of stuff. Flash grenade? What? Never gonna use that. I mean, maybe. Shit, man, I'm like nervous. This game is actually terrifying. <laughs> I remember the original game it used to give you that kind of like a dread feeling, you know? Son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding. Electrical part, uh, shit. I want to save that because I feel like, I don't know if this is spiders or something else later on in the game. Yeah, I really need to move this out of the way. Kind of nice you can just do that. Oh, shit. Get off me. I came out of nowhere, man. I heard it. How oh, like the speed of that. Oh, my God. I do not want to do this now. Here we go. I wanted to kind of take my time. Grab this, get the hell out of there. That fuse goes on the other side. Wait, what? Why was it swapping? I can't use it. Man, I got I just got too many guns on me. Uh what I could do. <laughs> Shit! Almost got them all, guys. Normally I would conserve bullets, but... It is what it is. Well, that actually helps me... Okay, so that's good. Uh, let me combine the rest of this. Or actually... Put that in there. Just that actually works out perfect, because now I can put this other thing in there. Just, just enough room. I gotta put up some of these guns, man. Alright, let's get out of here. That main area. Uh, the light, did they get switched off? Use a fuse. This should bring them back on. Oh, that's right. You couldn't turn these on. Alright, let me put this up. I like how you can go any way you want around this counter. I think in the original. I don't know how it was in the original game. I need to go back and play it more. Uh, let's see. Definitely put that up. Gunpowder, um, man, I don't know. I, I feel like I definitely need to craft a little bit here. Having these guns in here, I'm going to actually take out the shotgun for now. I don't really necessarily need it. What happens if, hold on, let me see what, I forgot what it was. If I combine, oh shit, almost, <laughs> almost messed that up. Combine that with that shotgun shells, okay. And now I could actually combine the other one. Uh, whenever I get that, I don't really feel like I need- I'm gonna keep the shotgun off me for now. Just to conserve. I'll, I got the two bullets, I'm good. Or the two things. Let me bring a first aid kit out, though. Put that up. Um, good on ammo. Cutting tool. Yeah, I'll hang all that stuff up around me right now. That should be good. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the other side now. Because we got the valve, I can actually go back through here. There's just so many zombies, man. Kind of overwhelming, actually. Can't even... 
Can't even properly search, you know? We'll look back here again just to make sure anything's changed or different. Uh, nope. Alright, we're good. I swear sometimes I hear zombies. Wonder how long that lasts on the windows. Speaking of which, I'm gonna grab those things out of there. I think that, yeah, they do stack, so that's nice. Alright, we're good on that. Oh, let, you know what? Let me check something, because this was on the wall. Hmm. Almost looks like you could cut that off the wall or something, you know? I'm like super nervous right now playing this game. Kinda looks like that girl from Resident Evil 7, doesn't it? Just ever so slightly. So we gotta get the combinations to everything. Alright, let me... Okay, press a button to light it up corresponding lamp. The buttons press an order. Portable safe instructions, okay. Single button out of order will call the lights to- okay. Portable safe. Grab this note. Nope, nothing there. Shit. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Reoccurring nightmare over here. My biggest concern in this game right now is just running out of bullets. Alright, let's examine. Alright, what do we got? I would have to almost look at the documents again. Portable save. Pre press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. It's just got to be a sequence you use. Just trying to see what we got. Okay, yeah, I'll just have to memorize it. I think you gotta get the one, like, across from it on there. Oh, shit. I'll, I'll check it out later on when I have time. I'm like, this dude's totally about to move. My little saving icon top left making me nervous. Gunpowder. Gunpowder! There's always two lockers, even though it's four. Always shows two and you can only open one that actually has anything. Making me regret putting my shotgun up, all of a sudden like feeding me shotgun shells. I felt like we might see a liquor very soon. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, I got first aid spray. That's all I got. Shit, I don't know, duh. <laughs> I don't wanna waste handgun bullets. Uh, where's the ne Let me check my map. Where's the nearest, uh... What we got there? The jacks there. Dial. Yeah, that's gonna be the library. So the armory. We gotta go down this way. Locked door. We're gonna go into the linen room. Maybe. Star's office. Shit, I don't know, guys. I, I almost had the flashbang. If I could open this and there'd be magically like a magnum in there or something, that would be nice. Uh, here goes nothing. Oh, 
Definitely want to bring a shotgun to this next time, Brad. Ah, oh, shit! Oh my god. Holy shit, guys. Well, got past it at least. There better be a safe up here soon. Or not a safe, but a little deposit area. I think you could get this jacket in the original game or something close to it. More shotgun shells, really? Thanks, Center. Uh, we gotta get some kind of drive for that. Alright, let's see what this says. Failed to authenticate. Dongle. The word dongle in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I never thought I'd see it. Uh, let's look around this room. More flashbangs, alright. I feel like the flashbang would have worked great on... Yeah, I'll have to mess around with that later on. Well, aren't we just putting stuff in our pockets? Good gracious. I feel like this is where you get the Magnum. I could be wrong. But I feel like back over there is where you get it at. Our internal memo. What we got? Uh, heat resistant three number combination safe move. This star's office... Combos left. Oh, wow. It actually tells you the. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Well, nobody's here to see it but me, I guess. Battery. Of course, I don't have enough space. Man, are you kidding? Um. Well, well, well. I need to manage my inventory just a little bit better. It's gotta be. So I don't want to use the first aid spray, obviously. Uh, let's see. I can- the only thing I can do is combine this with that. Save on space, combine those two. That'll give me two spots. Then I can now get this battery. Kind of talking through it with you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos, by the way. I really enjoy making these. Like, they are- To just be able to play this game is already, like, incredibly fun. Alright, so we're gonna need something- let me- I know this battery's not gonna do it, but- Nothing else, yeah. We're gonna have to come back to this area. I think in the original game, though, you get either a shotgun or a magnum from one of the lockers in this room, I believe. Could be wrong. Don't, don't hold me to it. Well, isn't this just like a lovely room of death? I'm gonna need this little diamond key, actually. Oh! It's one big loop, actually. I like that. Now that this room is unlocked, we can actually come back to this spot quicker. Uh, what I'm gonna do is run back to the main entrance. There's gonna be a guy in here, I bet. Oh, shit! Leave me alone, leave me alone! Going up top! Just kinda get away from him, you know? I don't want to burn through all my bullets. I'm gonna grab that shotgun. I'm gonna take off one of these hand cannons. Not hand cannons, hand guns. Alright, it's perfect. That's all my bullets for that one. Now I can just focus on using this one. This zombie's twitching. I don't trust it at all. Samurai Edge, from now on. So we gotta get the other medallion. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. I know that... When I get everything situated, I'm gonna save it. Kind of gather my thoughts. I could have discarded that, too. Let me... I'll move this over there until I figure out how that's gonna actually come into play. Move that, move this. Uh, if I get a green herb, that'll be perfect for this. Let me store that, bring back the shotgun shells I have, and... 
I wonder if I need this anymore. I know, I think there's one or two more doors I need to cut. Uh, the battery I felt like might come into play. I'm gonna move this just to save inventory space. And now I will reload. Actually went pretty quick. Uh, let me also make... Hold on. I think I got some gunpowder. I can make some handgun bullets. A little bit of inventory management. Oh, that's right. I can't... Alright guys, a few things I'm gonna try. I picked up a few memos. And I'm gonna just try my best to get back to the main area. Go to the first floor and then... Because this is where that... You actually, I think you can actually see this gun behind the cage. I think I was just talking about it a minute ago, but... If you look back there... The Lightning Hawk. It's the gun from Resident Evil 5, I think. It actually shows it on the map too, check it out. So, we, once we get that, we'll be able to... Do some serious damage. Hopefully one-shotting zombies would be nice. But I'm gonna go back, I have a memo for the safe combination on the first floor. I'm gonna go there, hopefully... I don't remember exactly where you get the crank. I need a crank or... Because I've already got these medallions and stuff. I don't know. I'm just kind of like running aimlessly right now trying to figure out the next step. Because I know in the original game certain steps need to be taken. This game is just... Uh, things are just a little different. So I'm going to hope that... Uh, I get something here in a minute. Already been down here. Here we go. Let me see here. All right, so West, there's a safe right there. Let's try the combination really quick. Before I do anything, though, let me <laughs> let me just make sure I got this one right. All right, so left, left nine, right fifteen, left seven. All right. Oh shit. Left nine, right fifteen. And left seven. What? Left nine. Right fifteen. Left seven. There we go. Works like a charm. Is that an expansion of the other one? Yeah, we're good. Nice. Oh, we got the extra hip pouch. Well, that wasn't what I was hoping. But I'll take it. Let me save my game really quick now that I did that so I don't have to do that again. 